After the kid sat down with her parents, the waitress sensed something was wrong. The boy's sorrowful eyes caught her attention. After a closer look, she was frightened. She doubted herself for minutes. Should she act? When the kid gave her a note, she knew she had only one option. Evil lurks everywhere. Evil's ability to go unnoticed is dangerous. This is usually because people ignore it. It's tempting to ignore issues that don't affect you. Luckily, this story's protagonist doesn't. Today's story can teach us about community issues we often ignore for convenience. Flarvain Carvalho, the story's protagonist, doesn't hesitate when she sees wrong. After reading about her, you'll realize she's a great example. Start. St. Petersburg waitress Flarvain Carvalho works at Mrs. Potato. She saw everything in her service career. She could tell which customers were troublemakers, which had secrets, and which were going through personal issues and needed compassion. She never saw anything like that New Year's Day. Day began normally. The restaurant was empty because townies were recovering from New Year's Eve at home. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. Few regulars stopped by to greet and wish the staff a happy new year. Flarvain and her co-workers could relax because it was a slow day. She had no idea she would be involved in a life-changing event in minutes. Dinner time brought more customers. After the night's festivities, many regulars needed a warm meal. However, Flarvain saw new customers one evening. As they sat at a table, one thing caught her eye. A man and woman had a child. Flarvain assumed he was their son. She reconsidered after seeing what followed. The couple showed no affection. Also, the kid had a sad air around him, like he didn't really want to be there with them. Flarvain's thoughts began immediately. Are those three sick? Flarvain calmed her fears. Whatever. Maybe the kid was having a tantrum. Who could tell? She approached their table to take their order, fighting her doubts. She saw it and instinctively reacted. The parents requested two meals for the man and woman. Flarvain wondered if the boy wouldn't eat. They said he'd have dinner at home. Every minute was stranger. The boy's face made Flarvain realize she had to act. Kid's face bruised. Flarvain told the media days later that she saw a big scratch between his eyebrows. Later, I saw a bruise on his eye. So I felt something was really wrong. With all those signs, she knew she had to act. The kid's parents? I couldn't see the boy going away without help, she said. While their meals were cooking, the two adults left the table to smoke. Flarvain quietly walked towards the table and handed the kid a note saying, do you need help, along with a pen. She returned seconds later. The kid wrote, OK, under Flarvain's question in the note. He nodded and the waitress immediately began her plan. Flarvain immediately went to the kitchen, told a co-worker to watch the family, and requested the restaurant's phone. She called 911. She was powerless. Who knew? The media released that call's content. Flarvain tells the operator, I'm worried and don't know what to do. Can you help? Flarvain can be heard asking the operator. He's bruised and not eating. After that, police entered the restaurant. They approached the family immediately after entering. It began then. Truth emerged. Officers interviewed the boy immediately. Flarvain was right, the man there wasn't his father. Stepfather. The kid said he was abusive and often denied him food as punishment. That wasn't the worst. The child was abused for months. The mother and father were arrested immediately. The child is safe with a relative while they await trial. If the kind-hearted waitress hadn't followed her instincts, only God knows what would have happened. Flarvain believed it was her business how two parents treated their child. We can learn from her. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.